Howdy, y'all. Guess what today is? September. Well, today isn't September. It's September 1st, if you really want to be technical. But either way, that means one thing at my house. Well, two things. First thing is, this is my birthday month. Let the crowd go wild. Woo, woo. Yeah, I'm having a birthday this month. Don't want to brag. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that because, you know, hey, Anytime you're alive and breathing on your birthday, it's a good day. So yeah, but the other thing is, it's when I decorate for fall. It's a little backstory here. I love fall. Everything about fall, I love all of it. I love the smells. I love the sound of the, the school band practicing and the big bass drum because, you know, school's back in session. I love going to the apple orchard. I love picking pumpkins. I love all of that. But something else that I love is all the decorations. But here's the deal. I am obsessed. God, I hate that word. I hate that word almost as much as I do moist. Seriously, if you want to know the truth. But I am kind of over the top when it comes to Christmas decorating. I decorate everything. I'll show you later on. But here's the deal. I love fall decorations just as much, but I never decorate because who wants to decorate in November so that it can be all ready for Thanksgiving only to undecorate just a couple weeks later to decorate for Christmas? Too exhausting. I was worn out. I was the person falling asleep in my turkey and stuffing because I've overworked just decorating. No, 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 no more. I figured out something last year. Why not decorate in September? September is the month of fall. It's when the autumnal, autumnal equinox, is that it? When something changes up in the sky and makes the fall come and summer packs its bags and heads off to Florida, it's a good month. Well, then why don't I decorate in September? Last year I did one of the best things I've ever done. So let me give you advice. Go ahead and decorate for fall now. I've got the front porch. My neighbors, I could tell, are like, you, I'm still in my swimming suit. Get rid of your fall stuff. And I'm like, no, I proudly proclaim that it is my right as an American to share my little orange leaves and my multicolored pumpkins if I want. So yeah, so that's been my craze lately. But as of yesterday, I'm officially decorated for fall. Well, I've learned so much. I literally, I have been hours, my eyes were bloodshot from hours of Pinterest scrolling fall decorations, fall decor, more fall. Then I, I stopped Hobby Lobby. I would be there all day going, what's behind those corn stalks? A hay bale? Do I need a hay bale? I think I do. That's another side note. I have a lot of side notes if you haven't noticed. I don't get hay bales. Do you know why? A fear of mice, petrified of mice. And for some reason to me, a hay bale is like a condominium for mice. No, I don't get corn stalks either. I get fake corn stalks made at Hobby Lobby that are artificially manufactured in a plant somewhere and not grown in nature. Cause mm -mm, ain't no mouse living on my porch. No, seriously, if I walk out my front door and I have a hay bale and a mouse runs across my shoe, count me gone, count me gone. So no. I have artificially produced things of nature just to keep the mice. No artificially produced mice. No, just mice of all sorts. Even Mickey Mouse gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, but back to where we were. So what I decided to do today was all that knowledge that I've been gaining about fall decor, well, I want to share it with you. I thought I'd squish it all together in one video and give you my tips. And hey, if something that I've researched can give you help in making your house feel cozy and enjoyable and homey and just, I don't, that's what fall decor does for me. It just makes my little heart happy. It just feels like, ah, oh, it's family, it's home, it's cozy, it's soups, it's hot chocolates, it's, I'm not a pumpkin spice girl, so that's where I digress from the other fall lovers, so. Don't tell them, they'll get really mad at me. So, yeah. So, I have people who love me who know how much I love fall, and they've bought me pumpkin spice everything pumpkin spice jelly beans, pumpkin spice cupcakes, pumpkin spice of every liquid you can imagine. And I'm just like, oh, thank you. I've tried it all. Okay. But anyway, so despite my lack of enamor with pumpkin spice, I more than make up for in my decorations. Mental note here, so you know ahead of time. 
a lot of people today on YouTube say, I'm a minimalist and I think less is more. I'm not that person. I think more is more. <laughs> I think if one is good, two is better. If two is better, 10 is best. So yeah, so follow me as I give you a little tour of just a few of my rooms. I haven't even showed you all of them. Just know I got pumpkins everywhere. Remember the movie Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin? Linus would love my house. Okay, kids, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my house. Okay. In the kitchen, which is explained by the sign. Now, you could easily put a fall placard or picture okay. or something. This is that awkward space above your kitchen cabinets that you just aren't sure what to do with. I typically have things up there during the year. I just took them down, left my little peace sign, <laughs> I said peace sign. And I put this pumpkin on a wooden cake pedestal because wood looks more harvesty, don't know why. And then I just wrap some greenery around it, or in this case, brownery. See, that's got some little acorns and some little fall colored beets and ta-da! My kitchen cabinet is ready for fall. Okay, here's the other side of that kitchen cabinet. See, hello, Mr. Pumpkin. We're going to your neighbor's house. Okay. These are cherry, it's a cherry pie teapot, whoops, and there's just my normal spring stuff. And ordinarily, I have a rooster sitting in there. Pulled him out, threw in a couple little pumpkins and a sunflower and some bittersweet vine. And suddenly, the kitchen cabinets say, hello, fall, come and see me, big boy. But I can't decorate. I don't have the eye for decoration like you. Hey, I don't have the eye for decoration. Seriously. Kitchen cabinet. There's my mixer. Two fancy pumpkins. I do believe I got those about five years ago on clearance. Seriously, don't ever pay full price for anything fall. Go anywhere at any time. Pick up stuff at the end of the season, 70, 80, 90% off, and then throw them in a storage container. Slap a sticker on the outside that says fall. Next year, set them on the counter. Ta-da. Seriously, no creativity required. Okay, kiddos, here is my dining space where we dine, thus the name. Okay, this little, I don't know, buffet maybe thing, side table, I don't know what they call it. I distressed it a while back, and my husband says I've been distressing him for years, but I'm bumped. But anyway, we've got it all decorated for fall. I got the tall lantern over on this side at Kirkland's and it was a weekend deal. And so I got it dirt cheap. My little thankful with the pumpkin and then my bunny rabbit with him, I decorate him for every season. It opens up this little, there's a little latch over here. I open it up. Isn't he the cutest? And I just decorate it for each season. And he just sits in there happily watching us as we eat. Kind of creepy if you think about it, but choose not to. And then look at this. This is felt. Seriously, isn't that the cutest? I got that clearance at Hobby Lobby, I believe. Just absolutely love it because it's unique. I just, I can't pick a theme and stay with it. Got to go with different things. So that's an easy do, isn't it? Okay. As I stated before, this is my dining area. Okay, this is the table, duh. All right, this is what I've got. Okay, here's a trick. All right, what do we do? We come in, we got us a new pumpkin. So what we do is we just, hold on. I'm dismantling for a reason, just follow me. We set our pumpkin in the middle of the table and we go, fall is here. Yeah, that's fall, it's cute. This is, I love this pumpkin. I would totally dig it. But then you just take and you add two pumpkins. Oh, now suddenly it fits better in this space. But there's something lonely about them. They just feel like they're strangers on a bus. Hi, don't talk to me. I won't talk to you. But then in comes the mixer. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, I'm a party waiting to happen. I'm the fancy board that my owner bought Clarence four years ago and uses it for everything. Hey, pumpkins, let's have a party. So in comes the pumpkins. 
Now, all of a sudden, look at that. They've moved closer together. They feel more complete in that space. Then all you gotta do, add a little fancy. Look, this is literally just a flower I pulled off a stem. Look at that. Now, all of a sudden, that simple little pumpkin has a lot more impact on the space. All you have to do is just pull it together and these boards and trays that you can get anywhere and everywhere are phenomenal for that. As a matter of fact, a lot of you probably have them sitting in your attic or in your cabinet and you think, what am I ever gonna do with that tray? Pull it out, slap a couple things on it, and suddenly you've got a fancy party. The lighting is kind of bad on this one, but I love this little corner of my world. Isn't it sweet? It's the dining room and I love the big heart. Picture of me and my main squeeze. For fall, I added this cute little metal thanks, changed the greenery around my candles to something a little more burlapy and beady for fall, and then pulled the flowers out of my birdhouse, changed them to fall, added a pumpkin. Seriously. Absolutely anyone can do this. Okay, here's another little space. This is just an end table that I have here at the end of my chair. Down here, I've got my sign, and all I did was just add a cute little pumpkin, and then look at this, literally. I just pulled these off of stems, threw three of them down there, and look at how that gave such color pizzazz. It totally changed the whole look of that little dark space. And then you come up to the top, and you know, in the fall, you want everything to be cuddly and cozy. And this is just my normal table. But for the fall, I bought this, guess what? It's a dish towel, you guys. Seriously, got this cute little leather leaf. Let's get cozy. And then I added it and it just brought this whole little space together. This lantern, I have it up all year. I decorate it for all the seasons and the holidays. And so for fall, I added some flowers in there. And it provides a comfort zone for my cute little fat squirrel who's eating a nut. Yeah, that's his home space. Hey, handsome. Beside him is my, hi, I have long eyelashes and I'm gorgeous. But look at her hair, you guys. This is fall. This is called a poof. Look, it's just a ball of goodness. And then you just stick it in a pot, in a plant, anything in. Mmm, girl, you got it going on today. And then typically, at the top of a lantern, you have nothing. <laughs> but in the fall, this is just a pick. Literally, it's all one piece. You can get these picks at the dollar store. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. I just stuck it on there, tightened it around the little hooky thingy, and ta-da! Look at that, isn't that fancy? And seriously, you guys, probably didn't cost me 10 bucks altogether. And it took maybe a minute and a half to decorate. Yes, if I can do it, you can okay. do it. Coffee table, next one. I love this little grouping. I love this little grouping. Okay, this is a candle holder stand thingy that I have all year round. Another poof, ta-da. Remove the candle, put up a poof, and poof, it's fall. This little tray, here's a good tip, you guys. It is a fall <laughs> tray. I got this half off at Joann's Crafts and Fabrics because it was a fall tray, but there is nothing about this that says fall. That means I got this dirt cheap and I'm gonna use it all year. Showed you, uh-huh, that's a way to use a sale. Added a little pumpkin and look at this. This is just some ribbon. Keep that in mind, I got something else to show you about. But then, then I put a picture of my grandkids. But here's the deal. if you, uh, With the pumpkin and the plant and the frame, it's gorgeous. But you just add that little bit of ribbon. Seriously, it was just a remnant of ribbon. And it gave it a little... Mm -hmm. All decked up, no place to go. As if that's not enough of your glorious beauty, you come down here and you find... Hello there, green pumpkin. Oh, look at you showing off with your glittery ribbon too. Well, aren't we precious? Seriously, I got cheap greenery pick and added a pumpkin. Oh, and this wooden bowl, totally another fall clearance special that this girl right here, she's gonna be using it all year long. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. I love natural light. I totally, I can't do heavy drapes. I only have shears. But in my front room, I got nothing. Yep, I like my windows naked. But I always hang a wreath of some kind. So look what I did. I took off the lace that I usually use and added some fall ribbon that matches those cute little guys over there. And so it brings it all together. I paid, it was half price for the ribbon. I paid a couple bucks for it and I've used it in one, two, three, four different places. My tribute to Pollyanna, my charms that produce rainbows. Sorry, just had to show you that because I love it. Stand, you say? Mm -mm -mm. I say a place to let fall spread her wings and show off. You go fall. Okay, what we've got here is what looks like some type of major award. Don't know where I got this, but I've had it as long as I can remember. So I would like to thank you all for voting me Queen of Fall Decorations and presenting me with this award. It means the world to me. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure what it is, but I sure did like it. So, yeah, we got that. This is just a vine that I picked up at Michael's. 70% off. Had it forever. I added these beads. Got these, I think, at Hobby Lobby. But layering is a really good trick, especially for fall because, as I stated more, or before, more is more. And in fall, you can really pull off a lot more because... You want the house to feel cozy and, and quiet. And so, yeah, just threw those beads on top. No adhering, no glue, no sticker, no wire, no nothing. Hey, <laughs> over here, got a little tray. Added some uh, big old acorns. Other, these are picks again, next to nothing. Hello, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Just threw them in there together. Nothing extravagant. And then I love this. This is just a little swag that I hang over the TV because guess what? I hate it. Hold on. See the wire show? You throw up a swag over that and suddenly no one notices that your wires are showing. It's kind of like when you wear a fancy shirt so your bra strap doesn't show. Real similar. So yeah, there's that. Decorations this year. This one is one of my favorites. Look at those sweet little faces. Aren't they adorable? Oh, Hobby Lobby, so cute. And then I had this pumpkin I've had forever. Well, don't they just all seem to go together? But the little pumpkin itself just didn't have enough kazawi. So all I did was I had this. I have these everywhere. They're amazing to bring height differences. And then I took this little wiry bittersweet, slapped it on top, and oh, now, looky there. Suddenly, that has impact. What did that take me, you guys? 3.2 seconds to decorate. You don't even need these little faces, look. And you can even go chop down your neighbor's tree and get one of these, you don't even have to go to the store and buy it. <laughs> Actually, don't do that, that would be really bad. And then underneath, a little give thanks box with some more of those fancy unicorns because you know, we're all giving thanks this year. As you climb the steps, you are greeted by elegant Tom the turkey. Tom is sitting cozily atop Cozily, is that a word? Yep, it's gonna to be today. Cozily atop the sofa table. He is flanked on each side by a trio of multicolored pumpkins. Tom, how you feeling about the fact that Thanksgiving's around the corner? Hey, fear nothing, big guy. You got this. Down underneath Tom and his trio of pumpkins are candle holders that I use all year long. Difference is, hold on, I'm on the ground. I'm hoping somebody can help me get back up, but I'm down here now. <laughs> These gold beads are just stringed beads. Oh, I love them. They add so much fun and pizzazz, and they look really good with this fall theme. Throw a little metal pumpkin down there, and then we've got our trucker. Wah, wah. He's cruising down the road with his bounty of pumpkins, but look at here, kids. Yeah, he came with these pumpkins. I just ripped the snot off of them, pulled them out, and I use him every year. He has spring flowers, he has Easter eggs in him. My little truck that was a fall sale, got him clearance last year. He has been used all year long. He's been transporting a lot across the uh, 
countryside. Okay, and then this, yeah, it's the cutest little uh, stack of dried flowers. Seriously, I think I got that for a couple bucks somewhere. Not that expensive. I set it on two books and suddenly, ooh, it's fancy. Not really. It's just set on two cheap books. You can get books at garage sale or at Salvation Army and, oh, you must be fancy. So, yeah. What do you think about that, Tom? You feeling fancy today? Yeah, big guy. Work it. So, what'd you think? Did you get any good ideas? Any tips? I sure hope so. Because, seriously, I have scoured the internet to give you the best of the best. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully you'll get something. And you know what? Even if you go to the Dollar Tree and buy a $1 pumpkin and you set it on your counter and you look at that little orange thing and it makes you smile, I've done my job. So go forth, enjoy the fallest, the autumnal equinox, and enjoy the cooler days and just be happy. All right, we'll talk soon.